Kintsugi Tale. She stands in the entrance to the workshop, a paper-wrapped bundle in her hands. It is dark. A shadow moves in the far doorway and then there is light. He stands there, the master craftsman. Can I help you? I was told maybe you could. With this? She places the bundle on the wooden surface, unwraps it. Shards of a teapot, glossy black glaze, delicate hand-painted orchids. He leans over to examine it. She looks around the room, shelves full of mended and half-mended pots, broken pieces brought back together with gilded seams of gold. She gasps. <gasps> he looks up. They're beautiful. It's Kintsugi, he says. The idea that broken fragments can be mended and turned into things of beauty. I can fix your teapot. You can wait if you like. He takes down bowls and brushes, bottles and tools and lays them on the table. Begins to mix the lacquer. She steps into the studio, reaching up to trace a delicate golden vein on the surface of a deep blue cup. He begins to speak. It's not only for pots, you know. Let me tell you about the world. It dawned with the dawning. The world was new, whole and unbroken. In the heavens, the creator had a crucible of gleaming molten gold, sacred, holy, and in everything that he made, in its heart, he placed a single drop of the golden liquid to carry into the world. He knew what was to come. And so it has been. But Kintsugi still surrounds us. It glows in our hearts and tiptoes out into our homes. It binds families together, perfectly underpinning our imperfect love. It trails from fingertips that cook and clean and tidy and fix. It fastens buttons, laces shoes, straightens collars. It imprints the fabric as hands fold clothes. It brushes hair, mops up spills, washes dishes. It tucks in the blankets as babies dream. Softly, it sings skittish senses to sleep. Kintsugi seeks itself in the heart of the other and it weaves the warp and the weft of friendship. Resolute on resolution, it rises with the clash of the discordant voice. Rigorous in restoration, it whispers the words of regret and reparation. Wherever there is mending, it is there. It flares from fire engines, forming footprints behind heroes who run toward danger. It whirls from police sirens and powers paramedics. It steadies the hands of surgeons. It heats soup in shelters, fills food bank shelves. It inhabits the hospice and hospital wards. It lingers with the lonely and grieves with the broken. It befriends, translates, advocates, donates. It throws its doors wide. It builds homes for the homeless and brings hope where there is none. It rises and tramples injustice. Kintsugi 
holds our children. It skips through our playgrounds and sits in our schools. It stays up past midnight while teachers are marking, maker of community and fueler of commitment. Kintsugi seeks beauty in a world that is broken. It flies from the fingers of artists and writers and moves in the minds of musicians. It dances and twirls and runs and leaps. It is the teller of tales. Kintsugi is the helping hand and the listening ear, the extra mile and the being here. It is the heart that beats for the poor and alone. It is the waiting voice at the end of the phone. And when all is still and the tumult ceases, Kintsugi remains. It is written through creation, stamped on the world in a fine filigree of invisible golden threads. It sings from the peaks of mountains and wheels across the ocean. It gallops on the wind and it glistens with the dew. It glows with the sunrise and blazes at sundown. Dormant in the ground, it waits until barren times are over. We are Kintsugi. And Kintsugi is us. Here you are. She looks up. It feels like merely minutes, but it could have been hours. He is holding her teapot. Glossy black glaze. Delicate hand-painted orchids. All held together with gilded seams of gold. <laughs>